This is Slime Son, the upcoming game from New York developer Fabraz. It's a 2D platformer with a retro style and a punishing difficulty. It's hitting PC, Mac, and Linux in April, but I've been playing the beta build. I know you have a lot of questions, so let's crib this. Hey, this looks like Super Meat Boy. You're not wrong. Between the fast-paced platforming and goo sticking to the wall, it looks a lot like Super Meat Boy by way of the Game Boy Color. It also plays a lot like Team Meat's obscenely popular 2010 action game, having us dodge all kinds of deadly obstacles in order to make it safely to the exit. And it can be unforgiving, forcing us to make it through the punishing stages without getting hit even once. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that the Super Meat Boy fans are gonna love Slime Son. But while the visuals and objectives are certainly similar, Fabraz has crafted a platformer that's more than just another clone. Slime Son builds on the formula by giving our hero a dash move that can break walls and push blocks. The slime will be able to turn invisible, allowing him to glide through green obstacles. But don't think the invisibility is going to make the game too easy because you'll still have to start over whenever you hit anything red. They can't make the game too easy for you. It looks cool, but is there much content? I thought you'd never ask. While the beta I played doesn't include the full game, the developers are promising more than 15 hours of platforming fun. The main story will include a whopping 100 stages, each made up of several challenging rooms. All this adds up to some 400 rooms to complete. And that doesn't even include the 100 New Game Plus stages, which have an additional 400 rooms to puzzle through. That's nearly a thousand rooms, which will definitely take some time to beat. I feel like I only scratched the surface after spending a couple hours with the game. Is that it? What, is that not enough? Actually, no, that's not it. The game also wants you to pick up partially digested apples that can be used to unlock different kinds of playstyles, outfits, shaders, and mini-games. There will also be new modes such as speedrunning and boss rush. And did I mention that each level is timed and will include online rankings? Like I said, there's a lot packed into Slime Son. At least there will be when the game's complete. I haven't had a chance to experience most of the extra modes and unlockables, but they all sound like a lot of fun. Assuming the game continues to add new ideas and obstacles to the 200 stages, it sounds like Fabras has a real winner on their hands. Based on what I've played, Slime Son has responsive gameplay and a cool retro look. It also plays with the formula in ways that help separate it from similar platformers. Slime Son comes out in April on PC, Mac, and Linux for $11.99. I can tell you right now that it's worth keeping an eye out for. I'll be back in April with a full review. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. We have a bunch of these crib sheets in the works, including a look at a brand new 2D shoot 'em up called Radiant Lux. We're also going to be spending some time with Mall Empire, as well as a long overdue review of Semispheres. We're also going to be taking a look at a bunch of old school run and gun 2D shoot 'em ups from the 1990s. This is going to be a packed week, so I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then,